Students with special needs will be able to interact with a multi-sensory approach by using the device through um, the visual cues that they'll have and the visual supports, as well as being able to, uh, you, with the touchscreen features, particularly on the iPad, they can manipulate the, um, the devices and the content on those devices. The teachers will be still in control of modifying the curriculum for the students, but the devices provide the students with avenues and different ways to express their learning, to demonstrate their learning, and they'll be able to personalize and customize the learning for the students based upon their, not just their disability, but also the strengths that they have and their personal learning styles. They use the iPad with a Bluetooth keyboard. It reads what's on the screen, and then also with different key combinations, it, it looks just like a little brailler. They can actually scroll around the screen or type text or you know whatever they're trying to do. I think what's really good about it is it's so mainstream, you know, and, and these kids want to use what all the other kids are using. So they see the other kids using it, they're using it, and that's cool. I think the teachers are excited. I think the learning curve is steep, but we are committed to supporting them. And ongoing professional development will be critical. And I think that they are very excited about the, um, the doors that are opening for their students and for expanding the learning opportunities inside their classroom as well as beyond the classroom.